linear congencision, carrying that on from right to left, getting it through tenons, and clearing that preferably down to bare sclera, corneal pattern suggestive of amiodarone. Paracentesis at 45 degrees to the main adhesion scratch, longer than the intended incision length, about the depth of the bevel, and then changing angle to do scleral tunnel, making a wide as sweep as possible at first, and looking for entry to AC happening there. Up and in makes the incision length longer, the tunnel length longer. Width about 1.7 blade width translates to 2.2 millimeter long GV. Start in the center, have it spread out clear, deep in the chamber. A nice sharp tipped half utrata. Regrasping approximately every quarter.
sideways motion of the phaco tip to help peel it away. A little bit remains, but very minimal. We've got the hard center portion. Sideways motion to peel away. Trying to avoid drawing in epi at this point. <coughs> Continue to concentrate on central firmer portion of the lens. Epi. Try as much epi as will come easily. Rotate the remainder in whichever direction it rotates most easily. And pulling in each side one at a time. Trying to keep material between the phaco tip and capsule. And the remaining quadrant of epi. Keeping the second instrument between the capsule. Second instrument stabilize the eyes. Just taking what comes easiest at first. Often we'll start at the nine o'clock position, three o'clock position, pardon me. And work around to the twelve o'clock, three, two, Pulling sideways as well as inwards, not starting to pull until there's a firm grasp. So, going now to the 9 o'clock position. The 12 o'clock is now isolated. Should be easier to remove because there should be no resistance on either side. Making sure I get a firm grasp before pulling inward. And back to get the remainder. Don't need the second instrument anymore. Starting below, using IA with no flow to tuck into place, rotate into position. Haptic is coming loose, so we're rotating that out peripherally before we dip underneath. It's noted that the long is starting to be removed, then backing off fairly quickly to the open position, anterior and posterior, tapping the lens into place. Maintaining a suction to clear out any remaining helon, injecting to the sides of the scleral tunnel to create a tighter closure, avoiding getting close too close to the interior lip to avoid any possible decimase separation. And the same for the paracentesis and incisions. Tapping the lens into place, final centering, filling the AC until reflux of fluid around, vancomycin.